Hello, I'm Pushkar and I'm master teacher in chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing J advanced paper. That is question number 11 and 12. Let's try this problem. A sample of 5.6 grams of iron which is 5.6 upon 56 which is 1 by 10 mole of iron is uh, which is equivalent to 100 milli mole and this is completely dissolved in cold dilute HCl to prepare a 250 ml of this solution. Titration of 20 ml of this solution requires 12.5 ml, 12.5 ml of 0 0.03 that means 3 upon 100 molarity km4 with the n factor of 5 to reach the end point. These are the number of milli equivalents of km4 and so they must be equals to number of number of milli equivalents of Fe2 plus which is given in this solution in this question so in this question assume km4 reacts only with Fe2 plus in the solution we have to find out the number of milli equivalents of Fe2 plus in this titration which is of course is 25 ml of this solution is required this much but the total iron was in 250 ml so the total iron must be 10 times of this. So the number of milli equivalents of Fe2 plus we can calculate from this simple step. This is coming out to be 12.5 into 3 into 5 and whatever it is. So when you calculate this and you multiply this by 10, you will get the number of milli equivalents of Fe2 plus. So this is 12.5 into 3 into 5 upon 100 into 10 this is cancelled so this is 1.25 into 3 into 5 which is equal to 6.25 into 3 which is equals to 18.75 so we have 18.75 milliequivalents of Fe2 plus and which means 18.75 milli mole of Fe2 plus is there. So out of the 100 milli mole, we have 18.75 milli mole Fe2 plus. So that will settle this problem. Number of moles of Fe2 plus present in 250 ml of the solution is, so let us do it, 18.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equals to 1.875 into 10 to the power minus 3. And if we round it off, that's coming out to be, if we round it off, that's coming out to be 1.87. sorry it is 10 to the power minus 2 so yeah all right it is all right 10 plus 2 so our answer is 1.875 that is x first answer is this now let us see what is the second answer what is y the amount of iron present in the sample is y percent by weight so how much iron is present here so iron present here is equals to if total millimoles of out of 100 v minus 18.75 so it is coming out to be 81.25 millimole of iron and 18.75 millimole of fe2 plus so what percentage of iron is there the amount of iron present in the sample is y percent we have to find the percentage by weight of the iron in the sample so of course it is of course this is 81.25 percent because mass of iron and mass of Fe2 plus is the same so basically y is equals to 81.25 And x is equals to 
So these are the answers. Pretty straightforward question. Only thing is, uh, if you are not careful enough and if you don't go through this, assume K1 of 4 reacts only with Fe2+, then there is a problem because some students may assume that iron is also going to react with K1 of 4 and it does react with K1 of 4 up to some small extent, but not extensively. So in this question, you have to assume it is not reacting at all with Fe iron K1 of 4. K1 of 4 is only reacting with Fe2 plus and oxidizing it into Fe3 plus. Calculations are straightforward. Stay tuned for detailed discussions of other questions. Thanks for watching.